Yo, what's going on? It's a boy Lisa Mutupi. Welcome back on my YouTube channel. On today's video, we are going to be looking at US 30, how it played out. Because, like, you know, since uh, Monday started, we've been following it like a hawk. We've been looking at it. And I just want to give you guys a young update in terms of what it is uh, from, like, literally Monday up until this current day where it's at and what we've been looking at, what we saw, how we tackled the reactions that we got from the market. And um, one thing that I like is that most of these trades that I take, most of these, these trade ideas, that I share, I share them in the Telegram public group on which I highly believe that you can also get access in the Telegram public group without paying a single cent because that's where I share some of my trade ideas. So let us get straight to it. Now. So um, I'll just go back to the daily time frame just so we remind ourselves um, what is it that we see because I remember since the previous week I'm um, looking at just 30 price came from here, they rejected and we've been going all the way to the upside here with it. So that hasn't changed. We've been looking at the bigger time frame um, Buyers like the, the 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 buy being on the bigger time frame, momentum has been to the upside, so we never really changed anything in terms of that. But going down to the four hour chart, like you know, there has been a few ups and downs in terms of what we we're looking at. At first, we we're looking at short term sellers, and then we started seeing these long term buyers up until price eventually broke out and confirmed our specific price. So let me just <coughs> put this right here. Yeah, up until price broke out and started showing us where it really wants to go. So you can see with this pattern here, we've got our first touch, second touch. Here the third touch is price eventually just broke above the specific level. And then we also got this bottom part here. So we were like thinking that maybe price would come retest go all the way down. But if not, then obviously we're going all the way up, up until maybe here. Yeah, all the way up until somewhere here. Yeah, this being our first target. And so far guys, you can see right here on the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame so far you can see the price has broken above i'm um, literally here at the structure the highs and when it did break above let's just, let us just take a look at how we saw it in the telegram group because this is where like literally everything is being shared and this is where like you know a lot of things make sense like as soon as i just start sharing them here they make perfect sense so on monday uh, monday 28th which is the 28th yes perfect right here so you can see um at first we're looking at this specific price reacting towards here and i was like inverted hammer and then that didn't happen out um like price eventually just broke above and it went a bit to the upside so i was like okay no four hour as long as four hour broke to the upside it means that it broke a high level of resistance and when price breaks a high level of res resistance that actually says a lot like we should now start investing more into buyers like when prices between a con co 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 correction what happens is that you can decide whether you are buying or selling depending on how the market is reacting depending on what the market is showing you but when it is broken above resistance you can't be wanting to still sell when it is broken above you should now start looking into scaling in on your buys and like you know adding more buys and stuff so that's what we saw price eventually just got jet resistance it broke above and then um, we started seeing this long-term um, for our uh, for our buy position. And when this happened, like obviously we wanted something like a retest to take place. And when that retest actually did happen, you can see we, we scaled our time frame down all the way to the 15 minutes because while scaling it down to the 15 minutes, it helps us be able to capture those entries. And so far, the trade that we um, shared here was like, okay, our morning star bullish candle started having momentum. So yeah, that's when we started seeing potential in it. And boom, see what happened. We caught it exactly the way we spoke about price short and went all the way to the upside, nearly year by resistance, and now price is still moving upwards. So you can see the update, the last most recent update that I have in terms of this was literally here. And I was like, price has to break the specific resistance on the 15 minute and continue going upwards. So let us take a look at what's going on so far now and what's the message that we can take from the market. So, okay, on the 15 minute. So on the one hour, we are still targeting these areas let me just remove this we are still targeting these areas so this is where our take profit is meaning that up until we get there we'll would be looking at just scaling in on our buy positions okay so um this is the structures that we had right here so let me just remove this remove this and remove this so at first i was like guys if price happens to break above here yeah, that means we're going up it went down, it retested here on which I believe this could have been another scaling because at the end, um, it literally means that like, let's say when you bought um, sec first touch, second touch here, third touch is here with this morning star, which could have been a beautiful scaling, but this is where we've been looking at. And now that price came back to retest here, this says a lot, like there's a higher chance of us just like literally placing 
our buy opportunities here at this support and maybe to just be on there to protect um capital like to just reduce your risk you can put your stop losses here but if you want to you know be on the safest side you can have it here but this would also be okay and when you've got this this is just your first take profit right here okay let me just do this first take profit has to be at least three is to one is to three and above and you can see so far it's one is to 3.4 which is amazing that is just the first take profit so far the previous um position that we had is almost giving us the same thing but now moving forward is our overall take profit which is now looking at the price we there's a high chance of us even getting all the way up to a 13 percent on this specific trade so that is like you know what i'm seeing on us 30 so far i just love um you know how it has shown itself and how it has been moving ever since we caught it and let me just remove this and show you what it is that we're looking at also um just by having this area be here because you can see price couldn't break here it couldn't break here above so almost it's almost like it hit um our take profit but because of like you know um us believing with the longer term picture us believing that price has to continue moving and pushing all the way upwards that means that you know um there's a higher potential of us still capitalizing or scaling in on these trees that we've been able to capitalize on so what i will do now is i will just show this because i did share with the members in the telegram team i'm um, in terms of Okay, in terms of what we've been looking at so i just want to add more positions to it okay just like this i think this would be okay and perfect just like this so you in the telegram team um this trade idea is going to be shared with you so obviously if you guys are not in the telegram team just make sure that you are a part of our telegram team and yeah that's how it's going to be moving but like looking at it um i can go all the way down up until the five minute just to see what price is showing us on the five minutes so let us take a look at it so on the five minute here yeah, resistance resistance support it broke above it turned into support 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 so here you can see a lot of rejections and for you to take a comfortable buy entry maybe um let's say for someone like me i'll be looking for candlestick confirmations but if you're not comfortable with all those things you can just have your beautiful pattern just like this and once this beautiful five minute candlestick closes which is now we are left with three minutes once this beautiful five minute candlestick closes just above this area on which this area is also a young resistance if you look at it once this candlestick closes above here guys you can scale in on your buy positions because price is still going all the way to the upside so but yeah i just wanted to update you guys with this us 30 trade and i hope that you guys you know the past trades that i've been sharing i hope you guys did capitalize on them if not just make sure that you're in the telegram public group whereby you are able to capitalize i'll leave the link in the description box and um, one thing that i like is that you know um with the markets with your state with the trades that we're taking we are learning as we are going and we are also evolving so evolving would simply mean that when price is at a specific um level so since you're looking at like maybe you're looking at a buy and then price starts to react in a certain way it corrects but that correction turns out to be a breakout to the downside that means now you have to evolve it's no longer going to be a buy position it has to be your uh, sellers and it doesn't mean that you are now going from buying to selling it means that you are taking educated um result educated guesses into seeing where the market is going and how you can capitalize looking at as well the risk compared to reward but the best way that you can learn the best way that you can be a part of you know the movement and what we are trying to do here is to obviously be in the telegram group on which i'll see you guys there let me just make sure that this trade doesn't leave me because you can see now it's shooting all the way to the upside and let me just see if i can be able to catch it but i'll see you guys on the next youtube video it's a boy thank you so much make sure that you like and subscribe